Hi, Benjamin Ling with Altitude Capitalist. I'm here to show you exactly what it's like to be a subscriber to Hulu Plus Live TV, which is an almost perfect substitute for the traditional expensive cable companies such as DirecTV and Comcast. You should not confuse Hulu Plus Live TV with the legacy Hulu product, which costs five or six dollars a month to subscribe to and gives you access to a library of past television programming. This product is giving you access to live TV broadcasting across substantially all of the cable TV networks that are provided with traditional cable TV subscriptions as well as your local over the air network channels in most instances. So I'm going to show you what it's like to sign up for the process, how, how quickly that process takes. Uh, I'm going to show you my accounts. You'll see how I can control my account. You're going to see what the television view looks like online. And then finally, I'm going to show you what the view is like on TVs hanging in the house. So you really have a good understanding after watching this video of what you can get, which I think is a tremendous value compared to what some of the traditional cable TV providers are offering. So right here what we have is the um, what you get after you set up. You can literally be watching cable TV in your home five to seven minutes after you watch this video. It is that easy to set up. They take all major credit cards, they take PayPal, they even take some third-party payment sources such as iTunes, I think Amazon as well. Um, but what you have here is you have, you have my accounts and a couple things I wanted to point out is the cost. So this is $54.99 a month all in. And um, if you notice here, you get a free one week trial to test drive this to see if it's, if it, if it's what you want. Um, after that, it's uh, $54.99 a month. And you have a high level of control here because you've got this option to, to pause your subscription. If there's a need to pause your subscription, it's as easy as clicking this button. If you want to cancel your subscription, it's as easy as clicking this button. Just it, think how hard it is to, to cancel your DirecTV subscription. You've got all sorts of hardware that you have to take back somewhere or ship it back somewhere. You have to call a call center and it, it's just a mess. This is a high level of control and um, ease of use, which I think is so important. Also, when you consider the this fee, $54.99 a month, some of you may have seen my earlier video about my supersized direct TV bill. The, the junk fees on that bill were almost $54.99 a month. We had uh, $21 for three excess TVs. We had $20 for two boxes. You had the regional sports fee. We had, that was $8. We had a fee that uh, was a whole house DVR fee, which I still haven't figured out. That was $3. There was almost $2 in taxes. Just the junk fees alone almost um, totaled what the, the monthly cost is for Hulu plus live TV. So, so what do you get? I think this is important. This is what a lot of people are interested in. You're going to get the um, most of these networks that are provided with traditional cable TV live. You're also going to get your most of your local over-the-air channels. This does include access to watch live programming of NFL football as well. That's important, and I, I think with a lot of uh, contracts on pro sports. It can be challenging to watch that programming outside of your traditional cable, but uh, Hulu Live Plus TV allows you to do that. Uh, to get a sharp point on exactly what local channels you get, you can type in your, your zip code here and it'll tell you. Uh, here in the Denver area, we get all of them as far as I know. I, I, ABC, NBC, CBS and Fox. We get all those here in Denver. So here's what your view looks like uh, online if you want to watch TV online. And uh, 
what I've pointed what I've pointed to here is kind of some broad categories that they have to curate the programming. Uh, I, I've selected my channels here. When you're setting up your account, you can pick a bunch of channels that you watch frequently, and those will automatically populate in my channels just for ease of use. But you could also take a look at sports, news, movies, kids, um, live TV. I, th I think that's the biggest benefit here. And uh, so th this is what your your TV guide looks like in the online version. And you can just click through any of these to get to, this is something called Aaron Burnett out front, Big City Greens. If you click on it, it'll, it'll go straight to that, that program as it's live. Here's another view of you know what's on the news channels here. I've got I've selected news this time instead of my channels, and you see you have MSNBC going, um, Lou Dobbs tonight, which is Fox Business, Aaron Burnett out front, which uh, is CNN. There's a coronavirus report, uh, Denver Seven News at 5 p.m. That's an example of the uh, I believe it's the ABC affiliate in Denver. Uh, these are all showing right now when I took the screenshot. Down here we have what's coming up in a half hour and an hour. So here's a way to manage your account. One of the features you get as a subscriber is you can set up up to six different accounts for your household. And you can watch up to two screens live simultaneously. If you have a need for more than that, there's a nice feature, it's an add-on for $9.99 a month. You can watch on unlimited screens in your house. If you have a lot of kids who have competing interests for uh, screen time for, for live TV program, you can have unlimited screens, as well as three mobile devices that you can be using anywhere uh, for this extra $9.99 a month add-on. But it's, it's a, a great feature of this entire product is just the ease of use. You want to add a profile? Just click this giant button and add a few things. You know, you'll have you'll have another profile for someone else in your household. So this is a nice feature as well. You have up to fifty hours of DVD recording time that's stored in the cloud for you to access whenever you'd like to. Um, and it's also very easy to record. So what you have below here, this is the um, this is the view on the in-house in-home television set. And if you were going on the TV guide here on the left and clicked on this program, you get the option to watch live, or you could sim simply click record, and this will start recording. You can also schedule. Um, a program to be recorded and then stored within your 50 hours of DVR space. So here's what the here's what Hulu Plus Live TV looks like on the TV on the wall in your house as soon as you log on. I logged on here and I clicked Live TV and you get this um, I don't know who she is. I'm guessing that's Martha McCallum. And uh, you get a whole stream of different live programming. Um, you can scroll down and go through all this. But this is what it looks like as soon as you turn it on. It's a very usable interface. I think it's an elegant user face, user interface. I, I like it a lot. I think, I think it's very attractive and easy to use. And if you were to select that program, what I'm demonstrating here is this is the exact same view you have if you have cable TV. When I took this screenshot earlier today, um, coincidentally, it was not her program. They were overriding her program with a, a live news event, which was a, a briefing from the White House. But I just wanted to demonstrate here that what you see on your TV is exactly the same thing you're going to see if you subscribed to Comcast or DirecTV.
Here's another example of a, a live now program. It's the NBC Nightly News with Lester Holt. I wanted to show this to demonstrate that the um, traditional over the air channels had programming available as well. Again, it's exactly like you would see if you had a traditional cable content provider. So this is a this is a complete view of your TV guide on the TV hanging on the wall at your house. So again, very easy to use, very clear, crisp presentation. I think it's fantastic. So <clears throat> with the subscription I got, I included advertisements and uh, you can pay an extra five dollars in each month and somehow they, they limit the advertisements that are on but bottom line is when you're watching live TV if you have the option where you don't pay to get rid of advertisements as the live TV program is, sh is showing advertisements you're being shown advertisements as well and I think I, I perceive they're different from the advertisements that would be shown on regular cable or regular over-the-air broadcast television because a lot of them were a little bit offbeat. Um, this, this is pretty normal. This is a local, uh, a local car dealer, but um, today I saw programs, uh, commercials for like an app that helped you say prayers. I've never seen a commercial for something like that on cable TV or regular television. There is a commercial for a like a testosterone supplement that featured Frank Thomas as a pitch man. Um, again, just kind of a offbeat, kind of unusual uh, commercial. So I'm not sure if these are the same commercials you would see on cable, but um, a nice feature is up here in the corner, you get a countdown clock on how many seconds are left in these commercials. And I saw 15 second commercials, 30 second commercials, and I saw some 45 and 60 second commercials that were actually two commercials kind of blended together. Uh, so that's what you can expect on commercials. It is not intrusive, it's not overwhelming, and um, it didn't really bother me at all. So bottom line, what do you get if you subscribe to Hulu plus live TV? First of all, I, th I think it's so important that you have control. You have control to start your subscription when you want to, you have control to stop your subscription when you want to, you can pause it, you can watch it where you want to, it's on your schedule, not the cable TV provider's schedule. Content, you get substantially all the same content that you would with a traditional cable TV subscription, including the local over-the-air channels in most circumstances. You, you get freedom from junk fees, clumsy equipment, technicians coming in your house, having to call a overseas call center to, to schedule technical assistance and uh, schedule service calls. Um, it, it's, it's just so much easier and, and, and so much uh, more usable than the traditional cable TV packages. Um, so I, I hope this was a value to you if you're thinking of cutting the cord and getting a much less um, expensive internet-based option for your cable TV channels, this is a good option to look into. I'm also going to do one on YouTube TV, which is a very similar product to this, so stay tuned for that. If you like this, please uh, hit the subscribe button, and if you have any questions, please feel free to leave the questions in the comment section. I will do my best to answer all of them. Thanks, and this is Benjamin Ling with Altitude Capitalist.